Hey everybody, been working on old Sea Alice Charmers today. Haven't got any videos of this thing yet. Yet I just got a couple months ago. Kind of been tweaking out a little bit, not much to it. Good run old tractor. Um, I just finished uh, doing a uh, three, per three point uh, conversion on it. Thought I'd show off that kit because apparently no one on YouTube has really shown off their kits and shown how it works and I kind of wanted to Wanted to look at them a little bit more before I bought one, but I went ahead and got it due to the advice of a couple of guys on the forums. And uh, thought I'd just try it out. Now, a couple guys said they're not worth too much because these things are super light on the front ends. And really they are. My dad's had one for 30 plus years. He's used to mow his yard with. And, and uh, I've used it quite a bit. And yeah, you can lift the front end on these real easy. So I'm going to be adding some, some weights to it. And... Uh, Got some uh, old uh, railroad irons that I'm going to hang on the front of this thing, and hopefully, I'll keep the front end down mostly. Um, just thought I'd show off this a little bit. This is a three point conversion I bought from uh, Tony Cabro, and um, yeah, it's a pretty good setup. I mean, I, for the price that he's offering for, that's about what materials would be. And I figured, what the heck, it saves me the time of building it myself. Uh, I'm probably going to do a little bit of tweaking on it. There's a few little things. Uh, craftsmanship isn't quite where I want would put it as uh, if I were building it. Things like this. I mean, the uh, little nub here is welded off center, so you can't really pull this thing out as far as it really should be. I might be heating that up on the torch and trying to bend it over just a little bit. Um, things, you know, like um, in the kit, you need a 3 8 to... Uh, I'm sorry, a quarter inch uh, pipe thread to a 3 8 pipe thread adapter. And things like that really should be added into the kit. I mean, it's not a big deal. It's a cheap part. You have to go out to Lowe's and find it. I mean, raise the price of the kit five bucks and save me the trip. Yeah, that's just my opinion. Um, went ahead and uh, just finished uh, cleaning up the hydraulic pump on this. It, um, after sitting for many many years this thing had a lot of water and mud in the transmission so I got all that cleaned out new fluid but the uh, the pump wasn't working as well as it should and it still might not be I'm going to try to get you guys opinion on this see how fast these things are actually supposed to raise and lower just kind of showing this off a little bit getting a couple good looks at it and a couple different angles so everybody can see how they're set up um, Another little thing I noticed on these that I would have done differently is like the uh, drawbar right here is not mounted in the level position. Yeah, it's just kind of OCD part of me saying that should be done. But then it made it a little bit hard to get these little mounts right here all nice and level. See how there's a little bit of uh, opening there. I would like to have them fly. I guess they're nice and tight, but that's tight as they go without bending things. Uh, I might shorten them up a little bit and straighten them out. And uh, these were labeled left and right. And uh, they didn't fit where they were labeled as, so I flipped them around backwards. And that might be just there's a difference between the B's and the C's. This is a C, or at least the, the rear end of it is a C. Actually, the whole thing's C, and then I think the transmission's off a of B. And a couple different tractors, so I'm part of this thing together. But at any rate, um, well, reason lower this thing a little bit for you and let you guys tell me what you think. Uh, it's about 35 degrees today, so it might just be because it's cold. That's why it might be slow, or that might be just how fast they are. I'm not sure. I never had one that had hydraulic lift on it. So I'm gonna start this thing up. Turn on the gas here. Yep. Yeah. Uh, this has got a a 12 volt conversion to it. Uh, it's actually a Ford 12 volt conversion, which is a little bit different. I think most people go with the GM one wire setup, and uh, it all works all right. Got a solenoid, a little uh, uh, voltage box right there. Make sure it's in uh, neutral. System, so you have to it has to float. So I'm gonna stand up on it, and push it down. All the way 
way down. Uh, you guys also might be noticing I have a custom seat pan on there. That's actually off a of Ford Explorer. But it seems to work all right. Okay, this is how fast it goes lifting up. This is about half throttle right now. Doesn't seem to me that's very fast. I think it should go just a hair quicker, but it might be just the size of the cylinder and the power. It doesn't seem to have plenty of lift potential. I haven't tried it out yet, really, with any uh, equipment. Let's raise up the RPM here. I don't know. That seems to be about as fast as it goes. Yeah, it's not terrible. It's workable. It seems to have plenty of power lifting it up. I don't think the pressure relief valve is a problem. And then, like I said, I went through the uh, pump and cleaned out all the balls and everything, and it seems like uh, everything's working right. Um, yeah. But if that seems really way too slow for it, let me know. I'll go back through and try to clean the pump again. Someone might know better than I do. I've I don't have any uh, other uh, tractors to look at for reference right now, so. And most of the ones that I can look at for reference don't have a three-point on them. But try it out, see how it works. Uh, I'm going to be doing another video here soon. As the, If the weather dries up a little bit when I get out, I got a uh, five-foot box blade, a five-foot uh, three-point disc, and some other three-point implements. I'm going to try them out, see well lift and how much weight it takes to get the front end off the ground before I I need to add weights to it. And, uh, you know, kind of get an idea. Um, if you guys have any questions or anything, I'll be more happy to talk to you about it. I'm going to post this up on my tractor forum. I'll probably put it on the Alice forum, too. And, uh, let you guys take a look at it. And, uh, hope you guys, uh, have a good day, and if you, I guess I'll talk to you later.